Hey everyone, Fawaz from Snowflake here. In this video, we will create a Rack chatbot application using Snowflake Cortex and Streamlit. We will analyze PDF files, create chunks, and then create search service, and finally build a Streamlit application, all in a notebook. So let's get started. Let's upload the notebook into Snowflake account. You can find link for the notebook in the comment section below. Once uploaded, import all required libraries and click on start to activate the notebook. We have two options to run the notebook, either to run all cells or cell by cell. So for this example, I'm using a PDF for KubeCon schedule. So if you want to replicate the steps, download this PDF file or use your own PDF file. The first step is to create a stage and list available files in Snowflake. You can create stage by selecting the database and schema and select the encryption. Once stage is created, proceed to add the data into the stage. Let's run this cell to make sure the data is loaded successfully. And we can proceed to step two. For step two, we will be using parse document method to parse the document and store the data into a table. Once step two is successfully completed, let's browse the content of that table. And we can proceed to step three to create chunks. We will be creating chunks using split text recursive character method and we can specify chunk size and the overlap. Let's check the results of the chunk method. And the fourth step is to create a search service in Snowflake Cortex. As you can see from this image, we have the Cortex search and Cortex LL functions. And once we create the search service, we can proceed to create the streamlit application. For the search service, you can specify the warehouse, target lag, and which model you want to use. And you can acquire the search service either using SQL, as you can see here. So let's run this command. So I'm asking question about any talks about Snowflake in the KubeCon schedule. I got results in JSON format, or you can record the service using Streamlit, as you see here, using Python. This is five steps. First is to import and set up the Streamlit application. Second is to initialize the chatbot and service metadata. Then we can query the search service, create and process the prompts, and finally get the results. Let's run the Streamlit app and ask the chatbot a few questions about KubeCon schedule and sessions. So I can ask any talks about Snowflake. So it's giving me an answer. There is a session about cloud native innovation from AI to edge. And the presenter is Ricardo Aravena from Snowflake. I can also ask any talks about AI. So I have an answer with the three different sessions with date and time and location to attend. So feel free to update the Streamlit app with different prompts or even update the PDF files with your own use case and change the settings. So to conclude, we created a Rack chatbot application using Snowflake Cortex and Streamlit app. Make sure to follow the quick starts for more information about Rack application with Snowflake and documentation for Cortex search. So here you have it, a Rack chatbot application in a notebook using Snowflake Cortex and Streamlit. I hope you found this video helpful. 
please make sure to like and subscribe and leave comments in the comment section below and i will see you in the next one